What's up, y'all? This is Miss Tech Not Fancy back again with a new video. And I know I don't need you guys to be on like, where you been at with the videos. Look, when they say in life shit happens, it really does. I don't know why. With me, like shit been happening for the past four years. Is it getting better? Maybe. Right now, is it getting better? No, not really. But you know, I'm here. I'm here. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep trucking it, and I am motivated to make some videos. You know, previously I wasn't due to just overwhelmness of the nonsense. It's always something. So what can you do? You know, I'm like I'm gonna keep growing and being positive, and I have the energy to do this now. So let's get into the video. So I bought the Xbox Series X randomly. So how I end up getting it is because I end up getting it because I. I one day I just thought about like you know what like it's going to be extremely hard for me to get the Xbox Series X so I'm like okay I have a higher probability getting the Series S versus the Series X so I just typed on I use Bing Bing is like one of my main search engines I use Bing and DuckDuckGo a lot I'm not I'm, I'm you know I mean they should sponsor me now I'm playing now I'm just half serious it'd be nice It'd be nice they can, but I gotta get big. I gotta get my subscribers up first before I start at start demanding, or even demanding begging. However y'all want to use whatever terminology I feel comfortable with what I'm doing. I gotta step my game up to even have a sponsor even glance my way. Okay, and it is what it is. I'm not tripping. But um, anyway, so I just went on Bing and I just type I just type Xbox Series S and. I saw it in one location. This is when I'm back in California. I'm currently back in um, in the East Coast right now. But, you know, I was thinking, like, you know, I, I think one, Target Target had about, like, eight of them. Because, you know, the, 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 the PlayStation and the play, the PS5 and the Xbox Series X were just non-existent there. But it was, they had, like, about eight, eight or nine um, Xbox Series X. I'm like, you know, an S. Excuse me. S. S. Not X. S. Anyway, so... I'm like, you know what? Like, I was just thinking to myself, okay, maybe I can go up there tomorrow and see if I get it. The next day, that shit, oh, they were all gone, okay? All eight or nine of them. I don't remember exact number, but I know there at least be eight of them. Completely gone. So, but it was it was another Target that I went to, and they had them. But I, I just, like, I, I told myself, well, just to be on the safe side, let me just pay for it online so I can pick it up so I'm guaranteed to get it, Okay. And this Target only had two of the motherfuckers there. I'm like, what the fuck? And it was by a, it was by a university too, so it kind of made sense. Like, yeah, that shit ain't gonna last. So I went to Target, pick it up. I was actually leaving from Target. It was a security guard that patrolled the area. He saw me with it in my bag, in my basket. He was like, oh, they still got those Xboxes. Like, he was just trying to get a next gen. Period. He didn't care if it was like PlayStation Five the the xbox series x or s okay he said he just want he was just trying to get next gen something okay i told the guy i said well you know uh they on this target had two left and i took one of the two so he he left his you know like he dipped over there and i know he got one because i know guarantee i knew when i got when he got there so i was driving away i you know the little scooter things they be using Whatever, the, whatever that big ass scooter, two wheel scooter thing, it was parked in front of Target. That's what he was on earlier. So I'm like, oh yeah, he's definitely getting one. So and this is back in LA, y'all. So this, like, people think it's easy. I think it might be easier in smaller cities or towns. Don't quote me. Um, but when I was in LA, it, everything was just extremely difficult to get. Um, I think I talked to other people. They said you know they were able. I seen people were able to go to uh other stores in different states with no problems you know i mean i think they probably like you know they know where to go when the restock happened but it was no hassle no long line okay this is what i just seen on twitter so anyway so i finally um you know unbox i was gonna make a i was gonna actually record this video of opening it but i'm like you know what nah like the, this should been out it'd be different i would have unboxed it day one but it's just not <laughs> You know, it's just kind of like I'm getting it months later. So the is the hype is not even, you know, is obsolete. So it's no point in me wasting my time doing that one. So yeah. So I hooked it up. You know, we got the you know, got the 4K TV in the house. 
you know, play um, 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 and when it comes to gameplay, I'm only basing on uh, Forza Horizon 4 and Call of Duty Black Ops, you know, Cold War, okay? I haven't tested other games yet, but majority I've been playing Call of Duty, like, you know, the season passes, I like to get on them quickly, but since it's been double XP the past two to three weeks, I actually, I actually fucking completed the, the, the battle pass, so I'm kind of like, you know, now I'm about to, I'm, I'm interested in playing other games, you know, but based on Call of Duty, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops, um, my impressions playing it on the Xbox Series S, uh, I seen, I seen, a, you know, improvement as far as like smoothness and frame rate compared when I was playing it on the Xbox One X. Um, I got, I, I think on paper, the Series S is, um, probably like a, a better upgrade than keeping my xbox one x so that's why i ended up getting it i was gonna wait i said no let me just i want you know i want to just see what this shit is you know so it, like as far as like loading times pretty good um graphically i was not impressed that's why i say next gen this is i have to play um i have to play uh single player because i think that's some missions I, I do need to finish but just based on multiplayer and co-op as far as like uh, zombies it, it like it looks cool and all but i wasn't like oh my god this is, it's not like the jump from you know from like playstation 2 to ps3 and the og xbox to 360 you know that was like an impression like i was very impressed when uh 360 and ps3 came out you know very impressed from the previous generation but i, I didn't get that same feeling with 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 xbox series s um i did manage to get a playstation 5 y'all don't be thinking like oh she's a playstation fan uh, uh, xbox fan um i do game on xbox more that's my preference but i do have two platforms okay don't get it twisted I haven't tested on the PlayStation 5 yet. I will do that because it's back in California. So really, I bought it. Well, I really got it from my dude. So we kind of, you know, I, I'm, I, I was going to buy, um, I think I had an opportunity to buy two PlayStations. Retail price. Retail price. Yeah, I'm going to put emphasis on that. I'm not trying to pay arm and leg. But was able to, you know, get a... Uh, the PlayStation 5 with the PlayStation headphones, the new ones. Like I know he needed some new new headphones. So I'm definitely going to check it out once I go to his house. Actually, this upcoming week. But, you know, just based on what, you know, just recently, just with the Call of Duty on the Series uh, S, you know, it's cool. Um, graphically, it's like, it's like, okay, I'm not really impressed with that too much. Uh, well, I did play Forza Horizon 4 earlier today. I was impressed as far as like the performance. It performed very well. Uh, I, as far as graphics, I have to play. I have to play on the 4K TV because I'm only using my ASUS uh, computer monitor right now. It is not 4K. I will get a 4K monitor soon. So I'm, I was thinking about getting rid of the monitor I have now, but it's still a good monitor. So I think I'm gonna keep this one and game on the 4K one. So I gotta make some space, y'all. I think I will make a video on that. Uh, when I unbox the 4K monitor, that's something that'd be something cool to do. And I have to do my research to see if I'm able to play on the 4K monitor with the Xbox Series S. I believe I can. I've seen people doing it. I, I like. I believe I can. So I'm gonna do my my research on that. And if you guys, you guys, it'd be lovely if you guys could tell me in the comment section before to just to confirm with me. I'd be that'd be wonderful. But Anyway, that's about it for this video. I don't know what my name is. Probably like my impression, my first impressions of Xbox Series S, you know, game, you know. But as far as I think it was still a good purchase, um, I'm not disappointed. I did not pay over retail price. I paid retail prices. As I told you guys earlier, I went to Target and purchased this thing. So, yeah, that's about it. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Are you guys impressed with this gen, this uh, next gen, or this current gen now? Uh, it doesn't matter if you have the Xbox Series X or at S or X and PS5. All right, even you guys, those with the graphics cards to the PC gamers, y'all getting this too? Like, are you guys impressed with your guys' graphics cards and the performance that it can do? You know, you think you could have waited? 
you know, just let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Peace.